Hey there YouTube, it's Cadiot, and welcome back to another episode of Building a Medieval Fantasy World. In this episode, I'm building this scary looking obelisk behind you. Uh, behind you, it's in front of you, in your eyes, whatever. Whatever, it, it's, it's on screen, or was on screen, we're building now. That was a terrible start to a video for me. Anyway, so right now you can see I've cleared the hilltop here. We're just going straight for the build approach right away. Originally, this was going to be like a big Tower of Babel type build, but then I decided, no, I don't want to build a Tower of Babel. That's going to take forever, and uh, you can probably tell this video is already a lot shorter than normal for the two weeks a lot of time I give myself, and it's late. Uh, anyway, so I went with this obelisk instead. Um, didn't really have much time this week, any week, two weeks, whatever. Uh, anyway, so I'm building a big black obsidian obelisk. No, I am not compensating. Um, I know there's going to be that one guy who always comments in the comment section saying I'm compensating for something or I've broken the creed by using world edit. Uh, keep doing it. It's funny. It raises engagement. Um, please join him in berating me for doing stupid things. Uh, this obelisk also goes up to build height. Um, so... It's it's world limited itself. I probably should have raised the build height so it looks better, but uh, I don't want to deal with the world config to raise the build height any higher than it already is. Um, anyway, so right now you can see I've built this big base around. It's a big round base right by the massive obsidian obelisk. I'm building some stairs up to it, uh, kind of like a platform. I I wonder. Wonder. I don't wonder anything. I can't think at all. Whatever. This would be like some tourist destination, probably, or some creepy destination, you know, a hundred years after it showed up. But at first, this would probably off put some people, if you were to ask me. Right now, I'm putting some inscription in the side of the uh, obelisk. It's kind of purple with some lights on it. I realize here that it being indented makes it kind of hard to see, so I pop it out one there. And it's flush with the wall now. I really wish I didn't have to make it flush, but it's what I had to do. And I've put random inscriptions on all three sides of our massive prism looking thing. Now I'm going to go through, I'm going to add these giant, uh, not giant, well, you know, they are giant. I mean, those are at least six meters tall, the big ones, uh, the, the big crystals, big floating crystal things. Um, kind of adds to the environment, the whole idea that this is some mystical, magical, big black object that is sticking out of the ground. Um, don't really know what its purpose is. No one knows what the purpose of this is, and, and no one will know what the purpose of it is. All they know is that there's a big crystal, or a big magical obelisk sticking out of the ground with a bunch of floating crystals around it. So now we're going to move over to the second half of this build, and this is where we're going to build the big crystals that are around the obelisk. I mean, this might be something. It's corrupting the earth, and as a result, these big purple crystals are now jabbing out of the ground. Um, they're coming out of the earth, just protruding uh, massive, oh, I don't know how tall these are, probably like 10 meter tall crystals. Um, for my fellow Americans, that's over 33 feet. But that, and do, do I even have many American viewers? Probably, I don't know. Uh, I don't have many viewers at all. Anyway, so I built five of these crystals. You're gonna see two of them get built right here because I don't have the mental energy to sit through my own time-lapse footage. And so I cut like half of it out. Um, I then surround it with this dirt uh, and y'all kinda disturbed the ground where it's come out and I surround the entire base with dirt here you're gonna see two more of those crystals pop up and the third one's hidden behind the obelisk so I go through I add dirt all the way around the perimeter of this massive circle base thing that the obelisk is sitting on the obelisk actually goes down to deep slate level on the inside um, I tried to make it go down and give it like a floating effect with the glass that's kind of paved around the um, base of the obelisk uh, you don't see it on camera because I don't show it but uh, I know it's there, um, it is indeed there, and it will stay there. Uh, now I'm building some trees around the outside here. Um, when I say trees, they're all, they're all dead. 
they, why would they be alive? I, why would I have living trees in my build? We all saw how that went last time. Uh, one of them is still standing. The other four are going to get cut down like immediately before they even go up. Um, this one here is me just fiddling around. Not trying to make it work. It is probably not going to work at all. It never works how we want it to work. Uh, anyway, here's a, the next tree. Um, these are all using both dark oak and spruce to make kind of a dark colored tree trunk thing that is chopped at the chopped at the chunk base. Whatever. I, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with anything. It's already been like six minutes. Jeez. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, and then I'm adding some little branches down on the ground on this one big one here, and yeah, that's actually about the build. <laughs> so a smaller build, this bi-weekly cycle. Uh, as you can see, I also changed the biome here in the cinematic. Uh, it's a darker grass color now, so it looks more corrupted and polluted. Well, anyway, that's the episode for this week. Um, if you enjoyed, subscribe. If you didn't enjoy, don't subscribe. Hit the like button, uh, because I need you to, to try and spread the, spread the word. Um, leave a negative comment, because that's still engagement, and engagement is great. And, uh, I've been Taddy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.